SNP MP Ian Blackford has been scolded for ignoring the Speaker of the House Lindsay Hoyle during a tense debate on Afghanistan. The Speaker of the House of Commons Lindsay Hoyle has been forced to reprimand the leader of the SNP at Westminster during a tense clash in Parliament over aid to Afghanistan. Ian Blackford and Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab clashed repeatedly over the amount of aid being sent to Afghanistan. Mr Blackford snapped repeatedly at Mr Raab during his address to the House before being called out by Hoyle for a failure to abide by the parliamentary rules. The SNP leader in Westminster snapped at Mr Raab. I know he is trying to wind me up. People are facing the worst situation imaginable and you have a foreign secretary that is sitting and laughing and joking in the government. Speaker Hoyle interrupted the SNP MP to remind him of the conduct expected from MPs, we don't use you as you well know. As the spat between the front benches continued Mr Hoyle told Mr Blackford, you keep using you, you have to come through me, in the chair. Mr Blackford also launched a scathing attack on the government's lack of planning ahead of the withdrawal of US and NATO forces from Afghanistan. He said, it is clear that Afghanistan did not go from relative stability to chaos overnight. The current situation is an acceleration of an existing state of affairs in which the UK, US, and the Afghan governments are seemingly unaware and the exit strategy not properly planned. It appears the only people who were planning was the Taliban, raged the SNP MP. Mr Blackford urged the government to ensure that no one can be left behind amid the scramble to evacuate the most vulnerable from Afghanistan. We can either offer meaningless words of sympathy, we can stand idly by or we can start to do the right thing, he said. We can take responsibility and act. The Home Secretary has today talked about evacuating more contacts of the UK-Afghanistan operation from the existing settlements. Everyone who has worked with key forces, and who by definition has a vulnerability, has to be moved to a position of safety, no one can be left behind. The scheme needs to be far more ambitious and generous and swift to help the Afghan citizens that it has abandoned and left serious risk of persecution and indeed of the scale of the efforts need to match the scale of this humanitarian emergency.